Hey there everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm excited to bring you another video and this one is a doozy. Today we're diving deep into the world of nootropics, specifically we're focusing on dihexa. Now, if you're a regular on this channel, you know we've explored a good number of cognitive enhancers. But let me tell you, dihexa is something that has truly piqued my interest. It's been touted as a game changer, promising enhanced cognition like never before. But does it live up to its hype? Or are these claims just empty promises? I've been testing it out myself and I can't wait to share my experience with you. But we're not stopping there. We'll also delve into the science behind the hexa, explore some popular stacks and dosages, and ultimately see if this nootropic delivers what it promises. So buckle up, folks, because we are about to embark on a fascinating journey. Alright, let's kick things off by understanding what the hexa is. This nootropic is no ordinary player in the cognitive enhancement game. In fact, it has some quite interesting origins. Originally developed by researchers at Washington State University, the hexa was initially created as part of a project aimed at finding potential treatments for Alzheimer's disease. Dihexa is known for its potential to significantly enhance cognitive abilities. It's essentially a small peptide, but don't let its size fool you. This little guy is designed to repair damaged neural connections and even form new ones, which is super impressive. The science behind the hexa is fascinating. It's believed to work by stimulating a process called synaptogenesis. Now, I know that's a big word, but it essentially refers to the formation of synapses, the connections between our neurons. And guess what? More and better connections could mean enhanced memory, learning, and overall brain function. But, as cool as all that sounds, the big question is, does the hexa really work as promised? So, what's all the buzz about the hexa? Well, the claims surrounding this nootropic are pretty bold, to say the least. Manufacturers and users alike rave about the hexa's potential to turbocharge the brain. It's touted as a wonder drug that can significantly improve memory, learning, and concentration. Some even say it can help with more complex cognitive functions like problem solving and creativity. The most intriguing claim, though, is its potential role in neuroprotection and neurogeneration. We're talking about protecting your existing neurons and even stimulating the growth of new ones. That's right, folks. The idea is that the hexa could potentially help reverse cognitive decline and damage caused by conditions like Alzheimer's, strokes, or simply aging. Now, if that's not a superpower, I don't know what is. But as exciting as these claims are, we need to remember the golden rule. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So, we're going to take a closer look at the science behind the hexa and, of course, I'll share my personal experience with it. Alright, folks, it's time to put our lab coats on and get into the nitty gritty of the science behind the hexa. Now, don't worry, I won't bore you with too much jargon. Let's keep things light, but insightful. As we've already mentioned, the hexa is all about enhancing neuroplasticity, that's your brain's ability to form new connections and pathways. It does this by binding to a certain protein in your brain called HGF, short for hepatocyte growth factor. This binding action triggers a whole cascade of events that ultimately results in better, stronger synapses. And remember, stronger synapses could mean a stronger brain. But what does the research say? Well, lab studies have shown some promising results. The hexa has been found to have potent effects in improving cognition in animals. But here's the catch, human studies are limited. While there are some anecdotal reports of people experiencing cognitive benefits, we need more large-scale, rigorous studies to validate these claims. So, the science behind the hexa is definitely interesting and it's got potential. But, as with many things in the realm of nootropics, we're still waiting for more solid evidence to back up these claims. But hey, that doesn't mean we can't try it out and see for ourselves, right? Which brings me to my personal experience with Dihexa. I've been experimenting with Dihexa and let me tell you, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride. I was super excited when I first got my hands on it. I mean, who wouldn't be? The promises were huge and the science, though limited, seemed promising. I had high expectations, but I also knew I needed to approach this with an open mind. My initial days with the hexa were pretty uneventful. I didn't wake up the next day with the memory like an elephant or the concentration of a seasoned monk. But I had patience and I decided to stick with it. About two weeks in, I started noticing some changes. My focus seemed sharper and I could work for longer periods without feeling mentally exhausted. My memory seemed a tad bit better too. I was remembering names and facts a bit more easily as well. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. I noticed I was feeling a bit restless at times and my sleep wasn't as sound as before. It wasn't severe, but it was noticeable. Of course, this is just my personal experience and everyone's reaction to nootropics can be different. 
But overall, I'd say my journey with the Hexa was positive with a few bumps along the road. Now, let's talk about the Hexa stacks and dosages because getting that right is key to having a positive experience. Alright, my nootropic nerds, it's time to delve into the world of the Hexa stacks and dosages. Now, if you're new to this, a stack is essentially a combination of different nootropics that work together to enhance their effects. When it comes to the Hexa, there are a few popular stacks that people swear by. One such stack includes the Hexa with Nupept, a well-known cognitive enhancer. This stack is reported to significantly boost cognitive abilities and mental clarity. Another popular stack is the Hexa with the choline supplement, like Alpha GPC, which is believed to increase the effectiveness of the Hexa and reduce potential side effects. Now, let's talk dosages. This is where things get a bit tricky. The Hexa is potent and a little goes a long way. Most people start with a very small dose, around 5 to 10 mg per day, and gradually increase if needed. But remember, everyone's body reacts differently to nootropics, so it's crucial to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. A word of caution though, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. While these stacks and dosages are popular within the nootropic community, they might not be suitable for everyone, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions or if you're on medication. So, there you have it. That's a brief overview of the Hexa stacks and dosages. Now, let's move on to the verdict, does the Hexa live up to its promises? So, we finally arrived at the million dollar question, is the Hexa a cognitive enhancer extraordinaire or is it just a bunch of empty promises? Well, based on my personal experience and the research I've done, I'd say it's a bit of both. Let's get one thing straight, the Hexa is no magic pill. You won't pop it and instantly become a genius, despite what some of the more enthusiastic claims might suggest, but does it have the potential to enhance cognitive function? Based on my experience and the available research, I'd say yes. During my time with the Hexa, I did notice improvements in focus, memory and overall mental stamina. But it wasn't without its drawbacks. The sleep disturbances and restlessness were a downside for me. Scientifically, the limited studies and anecdotal evidence show promise, but were far from having a conclusive answer. More extensive, rigorous research is needed to fully understand the Hex's potential and its long-term effects. So, my verdict. The Hex could be a valuable tool in your nootropic arsenal, but it's not a miracle worker. As always, approach it with an open mind, but also with caution. Alright, folks, that's a wrap on our deep dive into the Hexa. I hope you found it enlightening and that it helps you make an informed decision on whether to give it a shot. And as always, remember, your health comes first. Now, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, go ahead and smash that like button, it really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. We've got a lot more exciting content on the way. And for those of you who are really committed to optimizing your brain's potential, I've got something special for you. I've written a series of books on nootropics and biohacking that I think you'll love. They're packed with actionable advice, in-depth reviews and practical tips to help you take your cognitive enhancement journey to the next level. You can find the link to these books in the description below. Be sure to check them out and let's continue our journey towards better cognition together. Thanks for watching, my nootropic nerds. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay sharp, stay focused and I'll see you in the next video.